Welcome to the Online Graduate Research Forum for Spring 2019. My name is Jacqueline Miles, your presenter. I am a graduate student in the Master's of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies program in the Department of Occupational Workforce and Leadership Studies. The title of my practicum is Overview of Research Administration at Texas State University. The purpose of my practicum is to provide an overview of how the Office of Research and Responsive Programs, ORSP, is instrumental in assisting researchers while maintaining the university status as an emerging research university, ERU. Texas State has put together plans for continuous growth in renowned research initiatives. However, there is so much to learn about research administration that I cannot begin to cover it all during my practicum. I also wanted to see how things evolve for the researchers so I, as an administrator, can provide excellent customer service. Interdisciplinary research is just one part of Texas State's strategic plan to grow and sustain innovative research. Research that is becoming more prevalent as the world changes and it takes extensive time, effort, and skill in navigating the administrative process. Based on this, I did my practicum at Texas State University in the Office of Research and Sponsor Programs. One of my objectives was to expand on my cross-cultural global awareness by evaluating research ideas that would advance the university's long-term strategic plan as an ERU. Another objective was intellectual development. However, my activities included learning various areas of research administration while learning to write research proposals for external funding that focus on interdisciplinary studies. My third objective was career exploration. During my practicum, my activities included analyzing the possibility of teaching at the college level by interviewing faculty in the Department of Occupational Workforce and Leadership Studies, OWLS, to advance the ALS undergraduate program. These objectives contribute to my career goals by helping me become a better research administrator and possible faculty instructor in the ALS program. As a research administrator, I wanted to put myself in a faculty researcher's shoes to experience their side. I want to share with you three short stories about my experience during the practicum in order to grow my career as a research administrator. I attended on-campus trainings and workshops that I would normally not attend due to the lack of time and purpose. These trainings and workshops on developing leadership and writing skills. When I first started thinking about what I wanted to learn about during my practicum experience, I had plans on comparing our research office to other research offices, but Texas State is a big place and has a lot to offer. I wanted to shine some light on the vitality of research and how much work it do, that goes into it from all aspects. However, once I started my practicum activities, I soon realized my thought processes were too broad and needed to be narrowed down. Therefore, I decided to focus on developing my leadership skills and teaching interdisciplinary studies. I had worked for the university for 26 years and in pre-award administration for 13 of those years. So I felt it was to be more beneficial to just get out of my comfort zone and explore the place I've grown to love and I'm thankful to be a part of for so long. To do, to do this, I had to get out of my current corner office and see some of the research I helped bring to our campus by having conversations with the researchers themselves. There are so many great programs on campus that originated from funded research, but too many to talk about. However, I'd like to bring attention to the Alert Center and the Transitional Health Initiative. I strongly encourage you to read more about these amazing programs on our campus at texasstate.edu slash research. I spent some time with our Strategic Research Initiative, SRI division, they assist faculty in finding and providing needed resources, tools, if you will, before the proposal reaches my office. Attending the writing workshop allowed me the opportunity to meet with faculty and learn of their research. Since most faculty do not just conduct research, they also teach. I also want to peek inside the, sorry, I also want to peek behind the curtain to see what the experiences is like as a professor. This helped me in my professional growth as many of the ALS faculty heightened my desire to teach at the college level. There are still other aspects of my practicum I believe will interest you, so please keep watching.
During my practicum, I engaged in my intellectual development to augment my practicum experience by attending the 2019 Health Scholar Showcase through the Translational Health Research Initiative. The Translational Health Research Initiative seeks to transcend existing disciplines and boundaries to create and apply new knowledge that will improve health outcomes for our students, community, and the world. The author and keynote speaker at the showcase was Susan Denser. She talked about her book titled Healthcare Without Walls, a roadmap for reinventing U.S. healthcare. That greatly contributed to my intellectual growth. The idea is to discuss a healthcare industry that can contribute to uh, deliver healthcare to the people, like the olden days when doctors made house calls, but with much more thorough technological means. Susan says we have a sick care system versus a healthcare system. She says we need to take it from house calls to industry buildings for patients to gather instead of waiting hours in a doctor's office. Healthcare and medicines through telemedicine, which is more convenient. A healthcare system that actually worked to keep people healthy and meet their immediate needs. The showcase is a part of Texas State's healthcare initiative and it is the third annual health scholar showcase that brought many researchers together from different disciplines on campus, along with leaders in the healthcare fields from industry and nonprofits. Based on these insights, the showcase keynote speaker and panel helped me to further my understanding and helped me get, gain intellectual knowledge in what Texas State researchers are working on relating to our health and how it all is related to our well-being. This particular initiative interested me because it's interdisciplinary. I want to share with you what I learned during the practicum about myself within the contents of strengths weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. One strength I came to realize was for my intellectual development, and that is how valuable my years of experience is, along with expanding my knowledge base. I see the importance of building relationships with my faculty and how valuable my service and professionalism contributes to their success. Working in this field as long as I have, I grew blind to the importance of relationships with those I serve. Before, my focus was solely on getting the proposal out the door on time. And that's because it was our motto. We were not going to miss a deadline or miss out on the opportunity to external funding for any reason. A weakness would be the lack of time I have in reviewing each proposal. For me, they are all important and I like to learn a little bit about what research is being done in Texas State. However, time is not always on my side and the lack of time in reviewing the content is of the research along with submission for a full compliant application require my external funders. The opportunities I gained during my practicum was being able to attend and engage in trainings and workshops on campus that I would normally not attend. A possible third is career advancement because there is no career ladder per se as each division stands alone but do, but do depend on each other. Based on these insights, the main takeaway I learned about myself in the practicum is that I really enjoy the work that I do in sponsor programs because it is my way of giving back uh, to somebody else's life indirectly. My goal is to pursue a teaching career in Alice program after graduation, but until then, I will continue to learn and grow in research administration as there is still a lot to learn in this field. I have several certificates in different areas of research administration and I will continue to grow my base because I do want to do research and I will not allow any family to be left behind. On the YouTube page below, please indicate your anonymous preference for this practicum by clicking on one of these two icons. Also, please post your comments or questions in the YouTube comment section below. I will respond to your inquiries posted between April 1st and April 14th through this webpage.